Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome to my channel. It's Tuesday, and we have a lot to discuss today. As always, if you gain some value from this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give it a like and a share. On to our first topic, my sheep bleat of the week. What does that mean? Maybe virtue signal of the week. Country singer responds to claims she photoshopped abs on her kids after the photo goes viral. And this is country star Jesse James Decker. Apparently her children are very athletic. These attacks that were placed on her were that she were overtraining her children or that she were to photoshop abs on her children. This is absurd. In what bizarro world do we live in that now you are attacking or body shaming or fit shaming children that are athletic and in shape? Now, if these children were obese or overweight, there would be no attacks because we've come to this society where we are actually glamorizing obesity and we're actually attacking people who are in the fitness industry or fitness related or all around just healthy human beings. Because that's the lifestyle that I live in, this was something that was very easy for me to relate to. As a kid, I always strove to get the Presidential Physical Fitness Award in gym class. That meant something to me. But it seems that we've you know, taken gym class or taking those types of things and the funding for those types of things out of the classroom. Maybe that's part of the problem. Or maybe we're at this place where instead of getting honest with people and tackling their health, We've chosen to instead co-sign this ideology that we need to love our body no matter where we are. And I do believe that. However, I also believe that it is very, very important to focus on health. Now, JC James Decker, she said, when I posted the pics of our vacation, included the kids being silly, flexing on the beach on our Thanksgiving trip, I had no clue it would get the reaction it did. But being accused of photoshopping abs on my kids, I can't help but laugh. Or the polar opposite over training our kids makes me realize how bizarre our world has gotten regarding the body and what's warm, normal and what's not. Now I did take a few moments to grab a couple of the comments because they were amazing. Totally building this woman up. Uh, I am Dr. Kelly says, standing by you mama, this world has gone mad. You have a beautiful family. S. Rowland, stop talking about children's bodies. They are all perfect how they are. You have athletic children, perfect. The fact that people feel that they have the right to critique that is insane. This was my comment. You're right, the world is backwards. We should be celebrating fitness, not tearing parents apart who promote that in their homes rather than feeding their kids crap from boxes and letting them play video games all day long. Well done, mom. You guys are doing great, keep it up. Some of those Olympic spots and backstage passes for our crew though, that from Lonnie Paxton. And then one more, Mo Bo Girl. Girl, just remember you're doing something right if it's the opposite of what this current clown world culture applauds. Well said, girl. All right, moving on to our next category, climate change science debunked. This week I found this really amazing video. It's a minute long, so go ahead and give this a watch and a listen and then we're gonna have a little chat. I don't have opinions. I have demonstrable facts. <laughs> these facts are validated and these facts are repeatable. Fact number one, no one has ever shown that human emissions of carbon dioxide drive global warming. Never been shown. <laughs> and if it could be shown, then you would have to show that the 97% of emissions, which are natural, do not drive global warming. Game over. We are dealing with a fraud. It's a scientific fraud from day one. My whole theory, it's not that climate change does not exist. Of course the climate is changing. It always has and always will. Such as the world turns, correct? Now, what I have a problem with is the fear mongering that they're using, scaring these Gen Z generations into not even having children because they seriously fear that there won't be a world for them to grow up in. And to me, that is absolutely insane. That's government control. 
I'm opposed. I found an amazing article. Global warming activists argue that carbon dioxide emissions are destroying our planet, but the climate impacts of carbon dioxide are minimal at worst. Activists would also have you believe that fossil fuel emissions have driven carbon dioxide concentrations to their highest levels in history. The Obama-era Environmental Protection Agency went so far as to classify carbon dioxide as a toxic pollutant, and it established a radical goal of closing all of America's coal-fired power plants. Now, we're noticing a lot of that in the media right now with no more drilling in America, and he's even attacking the coal industry right now, Mr. Joe Biden, leader of the free world. So this just begs me to help you understand that a lot of these things that the, the liberal left are kind of throwing on our face when we have to concentrate on, you know, the Green New Deal and changing the earth. I am not trying to sit here and say that I don't believe that we have an impact, but our impact is much less than they are leading you to believe because they want you to have that illusion of look over here while we're doing this over here. And this is the tactic they're doing. I mean, throughout my lifetime, there was acid rain, there was global warming, there was the ozone layer. So there's always been something, and this is it right now. Moving on. Our third thing, oh, is my woke video of the week. And I'm gonna play that for you. This is a doozy, please enjoy. So I have this thing, call it a little quirk if you will. I have hair in my armpits. I have it there for a few reasons. One, lazy. Two, fuck the patriarchy. And three, your response to them tells me everything I need to know about you. First of all, my comments on this is, F the patriarchy? What the heck does the patriarchy have to do with common personal hygiene? She stated that she's lazy, so I would dare say that the reason that she can't take her time to shave her armpits is maybe she's just crying for attention uh, and just doesn't really care about personal hygiene. I don't know. I don't know what the patriarchy has to do that and how she feels that not shaving her armpits but shaving half of her head is an F the patriarchy moment for her, but I digress. I went to the comment section because there's some doozies in here as well. She's not looking for attention, says R. Cal in 73. That was where my mind first went as well. The patriarchy is devastated. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they're certainly very devastated over her. Um, she's probably a teacher. Excellent point from south to north. Uh, we do have a lot of this going on in our classrooms these days, and it is absolutely disturbing. I definitely feel that comment. This thing ain't worked a day in whatever it's life. Yeah, I'm gonna second that. This is the best. And I thought a man bear pig only existed in South Park. I guess I missed that South Park episode. I may need to go back and watch that because um, I never want to attack somebody's aesthetics by any sense, but I think he might have her pegged spot on. I loved you on Star Trek Next Generation. Not a Trekkie here. However, I've seen the commercials and I'm pretty sure she definitely could be somebody on there. This is Chernobyl's version of Joe Dirt. The comment section never, never disappoints on TikTok. Um, that was from Libs of TikTok. I know they're going through a lot of censorship issues, as many voices are uh, in the TikTok world especially, which leads me into my one last thought of the week, and that is Elon Musk taking over Twitter. What an amazing thing. And the reason that I feel that this is going to have the impact that I truly believe it will is that I've already seen changes. Mark Zuckerberg has already allowed President Trump's account to be back up as well. And he has said that he is not going to censor him if he chooses to use the platform because he's running for president. I think that's movement because he was one of the ones who openly admitted that he suppressed content due to the laptop and some other things around the election. I'm already seeing that what Elon Musk is doing on Twitter is rubbing off on these other platforms. And that's what I said since the beginning. I don't know if it's gonna go as far as to have an impact on TikTok, but I certainly hope so. But on another note, he's definitely going to expand Twitter to have video content, long form and short form, and um, live streaming as well. So it does seem that TikTok may possibly be obsolete, which kind of makes me sad because that is what brought me here to where I'm sitting in front of this camera and sharing this with you. All right, guys, as I said, if you have found any value in this video, please give me a subscribe. 
give me a like and a share. That would be amazing, truly appreciated. Stay blessed folks and stay free. It's all happening.